So good morning. Welcome to the, uh, the final session of this year's uh, Beyond Belief, Enlightenment 2.0. Um, so the, the, what we're going to do this morning is we had, um, um, we had two or three speakers still to work with, so we're going to stay with the same format, which is that somebody will come up here and give a talk and then there'll be some audience exchange. We had, however, since it takes quite a while to, make, to get this set done, we had to do this first, so just excuse the backdrop. Um, once, once, the, once this is all over, um, I'm going to conduct some interviews with some of the people who... Um, uh, have been on my list to do a science studio interview with, a, with some time now, and that's just a one-on-one -on -one interview, but you'll also have the opportunity for, for a disco, uh, exchange with them as well. So that's how we're going to do that. Um, I just wanted to point out that there's um, certainly uh, uh, these thoughts seem to be getting into the mainstream. Uh, I don't know if you had looked at your Starbucks cups lately, but um, they have this thing called The Way I See It, and at least two of them have got Darwin quotes on here. There's one from David Quammen. Evolution, as described by Charles Darwin, is a scientific theory, abundantly reconfirmed, explaining physical phenomena by physical causes. Intelligent design is a faith-based initiative in rhetorical argument. Should we teach ID in America's public schools? This is on your coffee cup, by the way. <laughs> Should we teach ID in America's public schools? Yes, let's do. Not as science, but alongside other spiritual beliefs, much as Islam, Zoroastrianism, and the Hindu idea that Earth rests on Chukwa, the giant turtle. Um, this one, this one uh, by Joel Stein, who's a columnist for the Los Angeles Times. This is the way I see it, number 230. If you happen to be in a Starbucks, you can request this one. Heaven is totally overrated. It seems boring. Clouds, listening to people play the harp. It should be somewhere you can't wait to go, like a luxury hotel. Maybe blue skies and soft music were enough to keep people in line in the 17th century. But heaven has to step it up a bit. They're basically getting by because they only have to be better than hell. <laughs> so, um, thank you, Howard, at Starbucks.